In this video, we will demonstrate how easy and quick it is to deploy Checkpoint Cloud Guard in Azure with Aviatrix Terraform solution. So the topology that we are going to deploy is what you see on the screen. So in this topology, we have our transit VNet. This is where we will deploy Aviatrix transit finite gateways and also Checkpoint Cloud Guards. The transit is connected to the spoke VNets, as you can see in the screen, and entire interaction is being done by Aviatrix controller. So in this topology, Aviatrix controller is your Terraform provider. So you see the Aviatrix controller is managing the entire interaction through the Terraform. We will control and deploy everything that you see on this topology, including the security policy to make sure that the VNets that you have are being inspected by the checkpoint cloud guard. The advantage of this topology is that your cloud guards are running in active active fashion without any compromises. So we will do all the UDR programming in the spoke, in the transit, VNet, and also inside the cloud guard virtual machines in Azure. So there is no IPsec limitation here, no SNAT required. The way we do it is through our Terraform in GitHub. So what I have done, I have forked the official Aviatrix system Terraform into my repository. And if I go into solutions, transit finite, checkpoint Azure, I can see the code that I have written here or modified in order to make this topology. I use Visual Studio Code to write my, my code. And you can see the main file here is the main.tf. This is where my main code is running. All the Terraform instructions are there. I have my username, password, controller IP, and all the necessary modules that I need in order to build this topology with just single click. If I scroll down, you can see the entire code. Now let's move on to the second important file, variable.tf. This is where I have defined my variables. You can see username and password are being empty because this is the sensitive information which I didn't, do not want to put in this file. So in my Terraform Cloud setup, I have created the variables there uh, which are saving this sensitive information for me. Now let's go back to my Cloud Terraform setup. This is where you can see the workspaces I have created. For this setup, I will use Finite Checkpoint Azure workspace. You can see I had done number of runs already. I will create a new run for the purposes of this demo. The variable section is what I was mentioning before. This is the information I'm keeping here, which is not visible in my GitHub public code. There are other settings that you should do before you can to start this process, the most important one is to connect to the version control system, which is GitHub in my case. So as soon as I do any modifications on my code, the Terraform in the cloud automatically picks it up and it start a new run for me automatically. Let's queue a plan for, the, for this demo and start the queue process. Now it is connecting to GitHub, pulling the the code that I had written, the Terraform code, it will start the process. And then it will ask me for confirmation that this is the plan I want to execute. Are you okay with that? You can see the need confirmation tab there. I will say confirm. Yes, good to go. Confirm plan. So in the, process, in the background, it will connect to the Aviatrix controller, which is the Terraform provider, and it will start creating all those resources. The Aviatrix Transit Finite Gateway, the spoke. It will also create the VNet because remember, there is nothing up there right now. So everything will be done from scratch. I'm going to leave it here and we'll come back when it is all done. Welcome back. So now you can see on this screen that our Terraform deployment is successfully completed. The plan executed successfully. 
and the entire setup took about 35 minutes end to end, which is just amazing. If I log into my controller, I can see there are four Azure gateways being deployed to our Terraform. This is the transit finite gateway and then uh, being deployed in active active fashion. Spoke one, spoke two. Transit finite section will show us the region that they are in. There are two cloud guards there. Inspection is enabled. Egress is also enabled. And if I click here, you can see the instance ID, the name, and then there is state. If I go back to the transit finite section, I can see the security policy. So here you can see the spoke one, spoke two, VNets are being inspected by the cloud guard firewalls. If I go to step number three, this will give you some, give me some more information about the cloud guards. So the vendor is there, the VNet that they are connected to, and then their management IP address. Aviatrix Copilot is our advanced and extreme visibility monitoring and troubleshooting tool. You can see it is automatically generating this topology for me at runtime. And if I click on the gateway here, I can see the relevant information about the VNet they are part of, their name, and some other information that will help me in case if I need to troubleshoot this. All right, so this is what we wanted to cover. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye for now.